Boom! What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kelly D hitting you up with another installment of Guy Rules. And if this is the first time watching my channel or videos, welcome, bienvenido. What this channel basically is, is self-development, self-improvement, a better quality in life. <laughs> and um, women, perks being women, lovely women, more of them, how you can attain them. And uh, yeah, so with that being said, let's get right into it. This is Guy Rule number 16, Bros Before Hoes. Very simple. Extremely simple. I mean, I don't know how I can elaborate on that, but just bros before hoes. But if you will, let's get into it a little. So let's say, for example, you, you know, watching this, you like the girl and your boy hooked up. They made a cup. They made a thing. They finally became an item. You can't get mad at that. You can't get mad at your boy because you didn't take the initiative to actually go up and talk to that girl. He took the initiative. They made something. So you can't get mad at your boy. I've heard thousands and thousands and thousands of stories like, Well, I used to like this one girl. And my boy, blah, blah. He went up to her and they fucking made out. My boy knowing that I liked her and blah, blah, blah. And that, like, you can't get mad at your boy because he actually took the steps to attract the girl that you like, the one that you were supposed to be doing, but since you were too scared, you were too shy, you were, you know, and for lack of a for lack of a better word, a bitch. You can't get mad at your boy, so you have to take full responsibility in that and just let it go. Now, where bros before hoes come from actually goes. You can say that it actually, you know, makes it can be an issue. Is where you guys hooked up, uh, you and that one girl hooked up, and then all of a sudden, let's say. For some for some case or whatever, your boy starts liking your ex-girlfriend. I mean, you guys broke up and your boy actually starts liking your ex-girlfriend or vice versa. That's where your boy or you actually have to go up and say, hey, you know what? Even though it might be scary, even though it might be like, you know, uncomfortable, you actually have to go up and say, hey, you know what? Me and your girl, me and your ex, make sure that you guys are exes, all right? Because that's the only way that this can flow. And you actually have to go up showing character as a man, integrity and value, not for the situation, but for you and your boy, you and that relationship that you had, you and your best fucking friend, okay? Like always, bros before hoes, it's better to talk to your boy straight up have a little disagreement or whatever or try to see how your boy or you actually feel for that for that female still or you know if there's still something going on and you know not lose that important relationship that bondage that you know that masculine uh polarity within you guys then you know then to lose a girl or you know lose your best friend you know it's actually since you live in abundance of females everywhere there's everywhere that cannot be the only girl that you like so like i said it's it's better to lose that female than to lose your boy you know what i'm saying the one that you've been down with since fifth grade or you know elementary diapers whatever so go up to your boy and talk to him be like hey you know what i like your chick your ex chick blah blah can I, you know, start doing something with your girl or, you know, we feel like dating, we like each other, we're going to, I, you know, take you the responsibility as a man, show that value, show that character, show that respect, talk to your boy, and if your boy says it's cool, by all means, boo, go ahead and smash, pass, do whatever it is, but as long as you got that consent from your boy, there's been time and time and time and time again where I've seen, uh, that, you know, best friends lose each other because of a female. You know what I'm saying? Or there's been, like, heated debates where it's one guy, and then all of a sudden, since y'all used to hang out with each other, nobody hangs out with anybody because there's that weird, awkward moment. You don't get invited to this, blah, blah, whatever, and that's happened. It's happened to me. It's happened to, you know, other guys that I've known. So you don't want to be in that, in that you know, that awkwardness because it's just, it's not cool. It's really not cool when you have boys that you've been down for 15, 20 years, 40, whatever, just because of a female that has exactly boobs, tits, ass, and a face that by the time you turn around and do this, bam, there's another right in front of you and you know, you go off just because of that. Your value, your integrity really gets diminished and it's like, it's, you know, you're lower of the low if you don't actually go up and tell your boy, like, hey, what's up? We're going to do something. 
blah blah is it cool but you you and your boy only she doesn't have to know about it whatever and if your boy says it's cool or if you say it's cool go ahead and do that but i think that's it so yeah bros before hoes your boy cali d oh shit <laughs>